hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel i hope uh, everyone is safe and healthy during this time of the year so today i would like to show you how we can download configuration backup or configure multiple devices using ssh connectivity through a software called uh, secure crt it is a vandex software which has a trial version and uh, it is actually a licensed software uh, which provides a year subscriptions and updates so if you want you can check what secure crt is so let me open the secure crt application i have pinned the application uh, in my taskbar just clicking it this is the initial page uh, we can just close this and before calling out the script in secure crt i will show you how the scripts look like and what are the contents of the script so this script really requires a uh, input uh, the input will contains the ip address the username and the password currently i have mentioned two devices and both the devices are having the same ip i mean it's the same device i'm just reusing it uh, just to show you uh, how to run commands to multiple devices so let me close this input file and just open the script here just maximize so this is the script start and we are setting some constant for read write and appending and we are setting some variables and wherever i mention change the location you have to change the location uh, for your computer or laptop okay so here i mentioned uh, the location of the input file so from the input file we are reading everything and we are doing a column split using the comma so the first column will be the host the second column will be the username and the third column will be the password so this is the session to open ssh from secure crt and we are calling the username and password here and the host so what we have here is uh, to log the device that are not able to make a ssh connection it will be saved in device not connected uh, if you see here uh, if you just open that file so we don't have a file name called device not connected but uh, it will uh create automatically uh during the execution of the script okay so here i am just marked all these lines as uh, commands uh, using the single quotes just to avoid uh because uh i am going to log in using a privilege mode i don't have a, a, a privilege level uh, restriction in my router so i am just ignoring it so the start will be the wait screen as symbol and we are giving terminal length 0 so that we don't have to hit uh, multiple enters or a space bar to get the rest of the configuration and change the location here what it says is device connected so whatever the device that are not able to ssh will be logged here and able to ssh to the devices will be logged in this file so what else we are going to log we are going to log the session output what commands you are running and uh, what is the output of that command everything will be logging here so we already gave terminal and zero and we are giving show run here uh, and then wait for string just exit the connection and session disconnect so this is all about the script uh, 
now let me close this script just minimize this one go back to secure crt and uh, you have to call the script using the menu script and give run since i was already running multiple times it directly went to the folder or else you can uh, uh, drag to your position of the script and uh, just click the script and run or just double click either will will work so it is logged into the session if you see green symbol which means session connected and terminal and zero show running config first device got disconnected and it is attempting the second device because we have two host in the input file that's it so this is how we download the running configuration uh, from the um, network devices so we need to get the output of it right so we just go back to the script location uh, if you see the time 1534 we just ran the script and these two files automatically created and what does the device connected dot text will have is uh, this output connected to the following ips without any issues and if we face any issues like um, ssh timeout or a password error or something uh, it will be displayed under device not connected dot txt file since we don't have any uh, any such results uh, that file not even created here let go to the result and let me open this file voila so show running configuration uh, we actually ran uh, for two devices but uh, just a single file is showing because we are saving the output as host.txt and uh, i gave the host ip as same as uh, 89.133 for both entries so that's the reason it is giving uh, just a single output if you just find for the show run again so this is the second set that ran through the script so you will get to know everything here and just close this window now i will just delete these two files just delete it and i will show you how to use a variable uh, because uh, if you want to run uh, different commands or uh, if you want to shut down a particular interface in uh, any of the devices you have to call the variable in the uh, script so i uh, for example if i want to shut the interface uh, I, fa 1 slash 0 uh, on both of these devices just copy and paste uh, and this column split will be the fourth uh, entry for input let me close this save now edit the script i'm go i'm just showing you how to use variable in the security script so where we are doing the split we are doing the split here okay so we have three entries already and we will have another entry like uh, interface equal to column split three so the split value starts from zero so that's the reason we are giving value three and instead of sh giving show run here we will do a config terminal and just copy these three set of lines and paste it multiple times till we need all the uh, required number of lines to push to the secure crt screen okay so once i enter configure t i need to configure the interface interface and the interface name is already given in the variable 
of the input file so I'm just going to call the interface here we have to just give an and symbol here and then character 13 character 13 is nothing but uh, an enter uh, and that is cartridge written in short okay uh, interface interface okay uh, we are gone into the interface level of configuration and we are just giving shut command and we are exiting from the interface specific configuration we will do another exit from the uh, configuration and we will be giving show ip interface break okay and we will have this here also just to ensure how it was before and how it was after our script okay and just view and exit and just view save let's go and run the script again so the second time you don't have to really uh, go to run uh, you can directly uh, select from the last run script from here so i'm just selecting this here it's still it's connected now terminal and zero and show ip interface brief okay we don't have a space here so it's good to encounter errors because uh, uh, we will make sure that uh, nothing gets uh, uh, impacted in our operation and it's always good to test the script in a test environment or any lab devices uh, that your organization have so what mistake we done here is uh, there is there should be a space here oh, let me edit the script and if you see uh, the interface is already in admin down state so we will make it up the output file we can simply delete here edit configure interface just give no shut exit exit swipe interface break exit okay that's it go check it out okay we we have to give a space here because uh, as soon as this uh, interface the interface name it called out directly because we didn't include any space here so this space is important so i'm just giving save close it refresh and go and call the script again And let's see if this works this time also it's the second device And that's it uh, the red indication uh, gives that uh, the device is disconnected let's go back to the result page and just open this screen so 
initially before uh, giving any command we are checking the show ip interface brief status and we have this interface in admin down state and the script we have is to give no shut for the interface variable fa1 slash 0 just giving no shut exit and exiting from interface command and configuration command and again we are validating whether show IP interface brief has turned up the interface or not. Okay, it is turned up. And this is the second device uh, with the same IP address. So just ignore this output. And this is how we have to execute script in secure CRT. The advantage of using secure CRT script is that uh, you can run this uh, script to log into multiple devices uh, and you can do any work uh, within your uh, system or VDI uh, and also the disadvantages is uh, it execute the script one by one right so it reads each line for each line it do the column split and for each column split it will take the input for the script and for each IP address, it will execute the script. So uh, that is one of the disadvantage, I would say. Otherwise, uh, if most organization doesn't have a, a proper tool for configuration deployment, uh, like a solar winds or a HPNA, HP network automation, this is the best way uh, to utilize uh, to do configuration for multiple devices or to deploy configuration or to check the status of uh, uh, any uh, bug or vulnerability that your vendor reported. So for example, uh, is, is the switch is running SNMP version 3 or SNMP version 2? Does the username contains any uh, default user and password? So all these kind of uh, checks that you can do using secure CRT script. And, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, the secure CRT script is a licensed one. So in my next video, I will show you how to run script just using PuTTY, which is an yeah, open source and free tool to SSH into device. And that doesn't require any license to obtain. So if your organization really is not ready to procure license for secure CRT, that would be the best way. So just wait for my next video and i will show you how to do using putty okay if you are interested in the script uh, just drop a mail to uh, sakti21275 at gmail.com so i can send you the script or just pause the video and make a note okay well thank you very much and uh, thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe Thank you and have a nice day.